What's going on, guys? This is one of those videos that, you know, I gotta do a little bit of a retraction. Just a very small retraction. Also, I gotta, uh, you know, every time you think you're out, they pull you right back in, you know what I'm saying? So, Hector, we'll get to your glizzy, guzzling ass in just a second. But first, last night about, I guess it was 1 a.m., 1.30, I'm watching Torp, right? I see Torp's, you know, he's sober, he's sitting in the chair, but he probably recorded that much earlier, but he didn't post it till late, because, I mean, but anyway, I'm listening to Torp, and he's, I'm on, this is kind of a critique of him critiquing, somebody critiquing a bunch of other people critiquing, something like that. But Torp gets to a part, right? And uh, I, I, I gotta say, he, he, he was Pedro. He was critiquing Pedro, right? He gets to the part where Pedro pulls up the uh, the uh, GoFundMe thing or whatever, the community post about that, about Reese. And Torp pauses the video, and Torp's like, "Dude, you do understand, like Dashers don't have two thousand dollars laying around, and you know a lot of things. Like a lot of people, he's like, and a lot of people don't." Now, it pains me to admit, but Torp kind of had a point there. Because I got to thinking, I was like, damn. It's kind of like Torp was my Jiminy Cricket, you know, sitting on my shoulder. Except he, like, fell off drunk a few times. But I always caught him. He never hit the ground, so he's all right. But I got to thinking about it. You know, I would be a huge hypocrite. Because, I mean, I go around, everybody that knows me, you know, anything about me, they know that I go around talking about this one dude. I'm not going to say his name. But he's always fucking talking about other people, calling women names and all this shit. Uh cussing out family members and uh for all y'all who know what i'm talking about you know who i'm talking about for all who don't it's fucking cherry he's a cocksucker but uh shit i said his name but uh anyway i got to thinking about it because see here's the thing here's the thing about characters and satire just imagine if there was this famous comic right worldwide everybody knows him and everybody knows that if you buy a ticket and you sit in the front row this motherfucker's going to tear you apart right I know, Bobby, I'm not going to be a world-famous comedian. Goddamn, man, sit back. Let me get this shit finished. Always fucking pointing shit out. Stop it. Sorry about that, guys. Bobby just don't shut the fuck up. But anyway, say, like, people who sit in that front row, they know he's going to, like, talk about their wives. He's going to talk about their kids. He's going to talk about deceased relatives. All that shit, right? So, and even if they don't know, when they buy the ticket, you know, they got to sign a waiver. So when they go in there and sit down, they are, you know, agreeing to that. They're agreeing to be like... Yeah, I, I want, you know, cuss me out, cuss out my family. But now, after the show, say, you know, everybody stands up, the guys are all yelling and screaming, the women are throwing their panties at the guy. Then afterward, the guy goes out on the sidewalk. Now, same thing, but these people on the sidewalk, they didn't agree to it, so he's cussing everybody out and shit, he's calling them now. They didn't buy a ticket. That's the thing, you know, technically Reese didn't buy a ticket to my show. See, other people who have said the same thing about Reese pointing out, like even Pedro, Pedro wasn't doing it to be funny. He was doing it to, you know, you know, prove a point. Because, you know, if Reese says this and that, he was just kind of proving it. He's, you can even say, like, well, Flex. Flex did the same fucking thing. What it was, uh, Reese was talking about how he's bigger and better than everybody. So Flex just brought up a point. But, see, I wasn't doing it that way. I did it for a joke. I did it, you know, to get a few laughs. And, you know, I wasn't pointing out something. So I was wrong about that. I should have never said that, Reese. It's, you know, I understand, your, you know, Reese has went through a lot. We all know that. I mean, He's been through more in his life than anybody should have to go through. So I should, I mean, all the other shit, Reese, fuck you. But that one part right there, I should have never said anything about that. About the uh, St. Louis gas thing to go for me. So I'm my bad about that. But Hector, you motherfucker. See, you do know YouTube is a, uh, it's like recorded, right? Even if you're live, they're recorded. See, I go home a little while ago. I'm like, let's see what's going on. I mean, I, I'm thinking everything's fine, right? I go on there and I hear... You know, Cherry just fucking going off on Bobby, which is fucking usual. It's nothing, you know. I'm used to hearing that. So it's Bobby. But then Hector's like, yeah, they will have to come to me and say they're sorry because I never said nothing. It was that guilt by association. Well, it kind of was guilt by association, right? The reason it was is because when he was saying all that shit, you was associating with him, but you was also adding on to it. You know, way before anybody brought your name into it, I mean, actively tried to keep your name out of it. You would keep saying shit. I mean, oh, Flex has nobody who loves. I mean, all kinds of stupid shit. All kind. I mean, you you piled on from day one, Hector. It's all there. I mean, what the hell? Then you're well, Mr. Innocent. I never said nothing. It was guilt by association. Fuck that. And Hector, you know, 
If I'd have known this last night, I would have told everybody how you won that fucking hot dog eating contest. I mean, no, it's not a wiener joke. What it is, he's used to smuggling shit. He swallows all kinds of shit. Last time he got caught, he, he smuggles luggage. Last time he got caught, they x-rayed him. That motherfucker had a wife beater and a pair of knockoff Jordans. They're like, ah, fuck it, let him go. Like, get on out of here. Go do whatever you do. Hector's like, I'm a goddamn dasher. They're like, yeah, we figured that by the knockoff Jordans. I gotta go pick this up, see? But anyway, Bobby, I'm telling you, dude, that dude is not your friend. You see what he's doing. He's like, he's almost, what Cherry's doing is he's saying shit publicly to try to uh, let you know what he has. Like, you know, them little vile threats, like he's gonna throw this out there. He's gonna, see, everybody, and it, you know, even if you said something behind Flex's back, like when you were mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure everybody has said something about something. That's, that's like Red. He was like, oh, Red was, I got Red, you know, saying something about she was just using Flex for the uh, subscribers and shit. I have no idea if she said it. She may have because at one time her and Flex was kind of, you know, arguing. So she may have said that. But that's the thing. You know, I'm sure if they talk to you, you know, just like with Bobby. If Bobby said something, I'm sure they could work that out. So Bobby, don't let him hold shit over your fucking head. I mean, if you did say something, I mean, if, you know, you out of anger, I mean, whatever, you know, tell him, say, dude, I was mad, I said this, you know how fucking Flex is, I mean, goddamn, he's laid back as fuck, I mean, no matter, I mean, look what fucking, look what Roy fucking says to Flex all the time, I mean, yeah, Flex gets mad and they argue, but then when it's over, it's over, so don't let Cherry hold shit over your head like he's gonna put this out or put that out about you, <sighs> Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Well, I'm gonna, I gotta go in here and pick it up. I just wanted to bring that up. But Hector, all that shit's fucking recorded. You do understand that, right? So, all the shit you said way before anybody even said anything back to you. It's all there. So, you might want to go watch that. Then you come back and you come back and tell us you're sorry. Lead vehicle's pulling away. I'm fucking parked. I'm not going nowhere. But, other than that, I'll see y'all later. And as always, Cherry, go fuck yourself.